I've got a new Cresos update for you guys. I haven't received any lending profits for now nine days. As you can see, nine days, no returns. My lending is very small, and it's because I have a large transaction on the sell side waiting to go in of almost 13 bitcoins. Very sad. Yeah, I know. But I haven't heard anything from the, the devs over at Cresos, and I don't think really anybody has at this point. Still haven't had my support tickets answered uh, about my lending and other issues. So, nothing coming from the other side. We haven't heard anything about the exchange when that's going live. We haven't heard anything about when we're going to be able to sell any CHR as well. So what's happening right now with, with people that are invested in Cresos? Well, everybody's uh, a bit fearful at this point because we don't know really know what's going on. So a lot of FUD, F-U-D, is being spread about uh, of rumors that somebody heard this, somebody heard that. And if you go to the actual definition of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt usually evoked intentionally to in order to put a competitor at a disadvantage. So the word is not really being used correctly. Um, and I feel like this word rolls around the crypto world so much and it's, it's talked about so much, um, especially in the crypto lending space. Because as you may know, or if you've been involved in BitConnect and, and DevorCoin, uh, rumors can really hurt a cryptocurrency, um, especially when it when it comes to a lending platform, uh, when there is already a bad rep with lending platforms uh, that began because of BitConnect. So when rumors start going about, it really can put a lot of pressure on a cryptocurrency coin or lending platform. And uh, as far as I am aware, it's what caused Devor coin to really uh, go from $180 uh, in, for one coin to pretty much 50 cents in a matter of two weeks uh, because of massive rumors that were circulating about uh, the coin. So we do know that FUD is a, an actual thing, <clears throat> but there's a reason that FUD is going around about lending platforms because especially during the ICO stage a lot of times they go through issues or problems uh, where they promise these dates uh, that they're going to go live on this time that they're going to um, send out this much profit to you each day you'll be able to do this and that a lot of a lot of promises that uh, a lot of these lending platforms or, or, or cryptocurrencies are not able to keep and for, for multiple reasons, too much, uh, too much hype, uh, not enough staff, uh, they don't have the funds or the uh, architecture behind uh, and technology to keep up with the amount of people that are wanting to get involved. And so a lot of these programs run into issues. And so that's why it takes sometimes a good amount of time for a an actual lending platform like Cresos to uh, come back alive. And I've said it before, as long as the website is there, then uh, we have something to hold on to. But we were promised a lot of different things. We were promised lending, uh, lending profits or interest every day, which a lot of us are not getting. Uh, we were promised that the uh, exchange would open 15 days after uh, Cresos went live with their with their lending platform and uh, that hasn't happened we're now in the uh, technically we're now in the 17th day um, since since the lending was uh, opened on January 31st at about 4 a.m. so at this point just don't have a lot of information but this isn't unusual for an ICO to go quiet like this. This has happened on others where there is some uh, dysfunctional things going on behind the scenes that a lot of us don't know about. And so that's why all these rumors are spread. So there's some 
positive positivity and a lot of negative things being said about Chrysos right now is just because we don't really have a lot of answers. And so I'm not so against FUD because there's a reason for it. Why do people spread FUD? Because it's lack of understanding for one. Um, and a lot of times that's because we are not getting enough information from the developers from the coin, a number of things. It's because we don't have the information to make a uh, a good enough decision or to connect the dots. And that's just kind of what to expect from this type of investment. And so I know all of us are uh, could, could potentially lose money um, investing in this ICO called Chrysos, uh, but that is a risk risk that we were willing to take, um, and uh, it was also very unfortunate timing because the uh, cryptocurrency market basically was going through a, a massive correction, and Chrysos got kind of caught in the middle uh, along with uh, others like Lupex that actually did go scam. Uh, so Chrysos is still hanging on, and Again, as long as we've got the website, then we can just wait it out and see if we eventually hear something. So this is what I have. And uh, I found this on uh, Bitcoin Talk. And, you know, this may be some FUD that people would like to, to categorize, uh, categorize this as. Um, but it is some information, which we tried to, you know, gather and make decisions on. Who knows if this person is uh, actually worked for uh, worked for Chrysos. I guess it's always possible. So this person is asking about uh, they haven't heard anything from Chrysos uh, from the devs in a, a few weeks. This ha happened on the 12th of February, and this is why I stopped working for them is because it's a scam. And you know, these things are. This is what happens when we have a lack of information. These things get spread about. We don't know if they're if they're real or not, but we have no choice but to spread these kind of things when we don't have all the information. And it's because uh, the de developers of these platforms don't like to tell us a lot of the details. So it's very frustrating um, to me, and I'm sure to a lot of people out there that have been part of of the lending platform space uh, because we have a lack of information and so there is no option but to spread FUD about a program when there isn't being a lot of information spread by or told to us by the developers of the actual platform. Alright, uh, so with that being said, I'm going to wait it out, see what happens, maybe uh, if Chrysos has lost individuals or, or uh, staff, uh, which is very possible considering that a lot of our support answers haven't been, a have been, been worked out and the lending is still having issues, we don't really know what's going on behind the scenes, but maybe they'll work it out. We'll just wait it out. All right, so next I wanted to cover uh, a couple of things. So as you guys know, I just recently launched my Forex pullback robot uh, in this is a way for you to make profit uh, copying my free trades. Uh, so I, I make a trade, it gets copied for free to your account, and you are able to see the trades go in and out uh, in real time. Um, so you can actually see what's going on and how the money is being made instead of just investing it into a program and kind of hoping for the best. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just a different way to uh, to make money in, in the market, and this is in a totally different market than the crypto market. This is actually uh, the Forex. Uh, and so, you know, it's not something that will replace what you're doing right now, um, but it's another uh, stream of investing that you can get started in. I'm offering right now, not offering, but uh, I'm, my goal is 10 to 15% per month with this uh, trading, with my trading. Uh, and uh, something that you can take advantage of for free. So go to my website at forexpullbackcopier.com. Check that out. I'm trying to make things different than what you have experienced with uh, the cryptocurrency world, whether it's lending platforms 
or staking platforms or, or um, just cryptocurrency in general. Uh, there is currently a lot of risk involved in the market uh, because we just recently had a, a big correction and so a, a lot of uh, altcoins and even some of the main cryptocurrencies are going through a bit of a, uh, of a transitional stage uh, which can be a little bit tricky to know how to trade. So who knows, maybe this is a, a good uh, way to expand your portfolio by uh, trying out a different kind of investment. All right, so check out my website. You can see all everything of how to, the step-by-step -step process of how to set things up. Uh, it will take you probably about 30 minutes to do so. I think I had somebody that did it in, in 20. Uh, just watch the videos step-by-step, -step and it will show you how to do it. And it doesn't cost you any money, uh, so you're able to do it for free. So I have a lot of information there you can see, and I'm trying to be realistic as possible so you guys can get the full picture of what you're getting involved in. All right, uh, and also something that's a little bit fun maybe for you guys uh, as well. So I did a podcast. I was a guest on, on, a, on a podcast series uh, called the, the Cine Sisters. Now, you can also check this out on iTunes, and, uh, and you can also go to Podbean as well, thecinesisters.com. And I was a guest on the episode 10, uh, the, the, the ringing in, in the new year. So uh, this happened on January 21st. And uh, I talk about the, the movie, The Ring, and how that really messed me up when I first saw it. I know that some people might think, oh, that's not a very scary movie. But if you want a personal side of, of me and my subconscious and my like crazy like nightmares that I had because of this dang movie, uh, check out that podcast uh, and uh, listen to it you know, over the weekend or something like that. Uh, but yeah, these, uh, the Sinister Sisters are great. They, they talk about scary movies. They talk about real scary stories. Um, and give their opinions uh, on it, and uh, it's it's a pretty fun, uh, pretty fun podcast. So check it out. And episode ten, you can hear me talk about my crazy stories regarding the movie called The Ring. All right, so that's it for um, this video today. I hope that things work out with Chrysos, and uh, but uh, you know, just crossing my fingers at this point, and I'll let every, anybody know, everybody know, once I hear something about. Uh, any news coming from them, whether it's the exchange or pretty much anything. I'll give an update as soon as I can on that. And in the meantime, check out my website, uh, forexpullbackcopier.com, and uh, I'll put that in the link below as well uh, so you can check it out. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and support, and good luck. Bye.